it's set to restart your PC. Just restart your PC and then keep on pressing F2 key in your keyboard continuously. F2. So do not stop. You just have to keep on pressing F2 key. Now you can see entering into the setup. So anyway, you have to access a BIOS setting. So different device has a different ways to get into the BIOS setting. By default, normally you can press the F2 key continuously. F2. It's a function key, F2 key in your keyboard. Now in the settings section, you just have to restore setting. At the bottom, here you have a restore option. So just restore the setting in the BIOS setting and somewhere if you are using the newest version of a BIOS in the newest version of a laptop, newest model, newest brand, if you have a BIOS setting like this in some laptop or some desktop BIOS setting really look different. So in the settings section or you can just restore the setting and even in the wireless you can see these are two different switches. You just have to reset setting. Sorry guys, it's a restore setting. Even go to the wireless device enable option and then restore the setting. So this is the next thing that you can follow in order to fix the issue. If the issue is still exists, if your wireless uh, Wi-Fi problem, connecting problem in your desktop or the laptop or a network problem connecting in a desktop or a laptop is not fixed, even after doing the after doing the BIOS reset or restoring to the default BIOS, you can proceed to the one last final step. So this should definitely fix the issue guys. This solution is really very helpful and it helped many people. So be sure to restore the setting. Now you can just exit it once you have done it. So this is the very helpful and the useful step that you can follow if the problem still exists you can proceed to the next method. This is the final step you can follow in order to fix the issue. Just shut down the PC. Just shut your computer down. Once you have done it, if the power cable is plugged in, just unplug it. From the back of the laptop, you just have to remove the battery. Once you have removed your battery, just press the power button. You're going to see the power button in a laptop. Just press the power button for 5 to 10 seconds and then you can just plug in the battery again after 5 to 10 seconds and then you can just try to turn on your laptop. This is the very common solution that you can follow. This might uh, be also one of the power issue because of which you are getting the network problems. It's a kind of power cycle thing. So you can do it and then just turn off your lap, turn on your laptop now. Okay guys, finally following all this step, you must be able to fix your network issue in your desktop or the laptop in your PC.